Blast textbook, okay. page 117. You can okay. see it, right? Ah, okay. So now we are going to write the paragraphs, okay, one by one, okay, starting with the greeting. Okay. Uh, if you have the uh, textbook, uh, sorry, if you have the composition book with you, can you please write the sample of essay now? Okay, we are going to start with greeting. You don't have to copy down the word greeting. Okay, uh, the writing in red, you don't have to copy. So, you just copy down my writing in black or blue. Okay, so we have... The greeting here, use the person's first name or pseudonym. Okay, pseudonym is like trouble in Google. Okay, nama, nama samaran. Uh, so, that is pseudonym. Okay, so dear Afan. Okay, later I will tell you what's the meaning of overwhelm. Eh? Okay, then what else that you need to write? So, after that, we are going to write the opening paragraph. After dear Afan, maybe you need to uh, have... Um, uh, to to spare a space of maybe one or two lines. Okay, so opening paragraph. Okay, I start with first of all. I'm sorry to hear about your problems. Okay. Then what else? What else that we are going to write? Okay, so now you need to understand his problem is about gaining weight. Okay, bertambah berat badan. So, that is his problem. And also about his diet and exercising. Okay, so one by one. Okay, I understand what you're going through. Okay, so this uh, sentence or this phrase is taken from the sample um, on page 117. I understand what you're going through. Can you see that on page 117? Okay, then what else did you write? Maybe I can give you some advice and things will get better soon. Okay. Uh, so now, so this is the opening paragraph. You want to give him advice or you, you need to tell him that you are giving him some advice and hope for him to get better. Okay. Get better here means he uh, will solve his problem. Okay. So that's the opening paragraph. That's it. Okay, now we can go to main part or body one and body two. Okay, we start with body one. Okay, so now we tackle his problem already. We know, we understood his problem already. Your major problem is about your weight. Okay, I'm sorry. Wrong spelling. Okay, your major problem is about your weight. Okay, can you please give me a minute? Okay. Uh, because of the wrong spelling, not you weight, your weight. Okay, give me one minute, eh? Okay, sharing again. Okay, so we stop here just now, right? Okay, your major problem is about your weight. So what about his weight? Okay, besides having a healthy diet, I suggest that you could try to do some healthy exercises such as playing ball, ball games and swimming. Okay, so you must give the example as well. Okay, just give two examples or three examples. You don't have to list so many exercises. Okay, next. It is a good way to keep fit and healthy. What else do you write? 
Okay, what else? And uh, uh, his problem is about dieting, isn't it? Another problem. Okay, you can enjoy good food, but please make sure it is healthy and balanced. I would say no to raw food diet if you can eat normal, healthy food. Okay, so because uh, you can, if you notice that he said, while surfing the net, I found a great raw food diet which includes lots of vegetables and fruit and promises results. But when I told my mom, she told me to forget it. Okay, so uh, it's, maybe you can agree with him, but for me, I disagree with him. So I say, I would say no to raw food diet. If you want to agree with him, you can say it is a good idea to, uh, to take raw food diet. Uh, so it's up to you. But now my sample is I say no. I would say no to raw food diet if you can eat normal healthy food. Okay, so that is your body one. Okay, so actually the main point in this body one is uh, your... Uh, it's about his problem in uh, choosing good diet for him. Okay, so he was thinking of taking raw food diet and give him advice whether it is good or not. Okay, if you think that you disagree with his opinion, so you would say, I would say no. Or you say, I disagree if you take raw food diet. Okay, because you can eat normal healthy food. If you agree, then you say it is good to take uh, raw vegetables and fruits. Okay. Then, okay, now let's go to body two. Okay, so uh, you are giving tips. The tips is actually your opinion. So in my opinion, regular exercise is important. Okay, because another major problem that he faced is, is about uh, stop working out at the gym. Okay, so what should he do if he can't go to the gym? So he should do regular exercise. Okay, and it helps in reducing weight. Okay, you don't have to go to the gym for exercising. Okay, because since he doesn't have time to go to the gym. Okay, so you don't have to go to the gym for exercising. Okay, one thing you can do is Tabata workout. Okay, so this is another example. Okay, but if you want to give example, you must have the knowledge of the example. Okay, it is easy and fun. So you have to explain what is Tabata workout. It is easy and fun. If you don't have any ideas, you can stop there. But if you have the knowledge about Tabata workout, you can write more. Okay, so you uh, example like you can do the exercise at home and it only takes about five minutes of your time. Okay, so if you can't, uh, you just stop here okay if you don't have the knowledge but you know about the uh you know about the workout you know the name of the workout and you know that it is easy and fun but you don't have any more idea so you just stop there it's okay but if you have then you can continue okay you can do the exercise at home and it only takes about five minutes of your time okay next what else that you can write in this paragraph okay if you keep on doing the exercise what will happen to him? I'm sure you will become slimmer and healthier. Okay, so you can skip gym and focus on your part-time job. Okay, so that is in your body too. Okay, your body one just now, although you talk about the exercise, but actually the main point is about the diet. Okay, your body two, the main point is about the exercise and um, the advice or uh, what to say, um, the advice, you advise him, okay, if he can't go to the gym, what else that he can do, okay, in order to be slimmer and healthier, okay, so that is in body two. Okay, now we go to the closing paragraph, make a final comment, or oh, actually this is the conclusion. Are you done with body two? Uh, yeah. Okay, now let's go to the closing paragraph. Okay, um, maybe you want to write as a conclusion, what is more, or maybe you want to write uh, some other phrases. Okay, doesn't matter, your own creativity, but make sure it is correct. 
Okay, maybe you should not mind your own appearance a lot. Okay, why do we touch on this word appearance? Because he says, I feel very self-conscious. I feel very self-conscious. If you look at page 117 and you read his, um, his letter, he said, I feel very self-conscious, meaning that he thinks about his appearance a lot. Okay, so that's why you give him advice not to mind his appearance a lot. Okay, maybe you should not mind your appearance a lot. Okay, in this page 117, uh, he used the contraction shouldn't. But actually, I don't like to use the word shouldn't. So I like the word should not. Okay, maybe you should not. If you want to write shouldn't also can, no problem. Maybe you shouldn't mind your own appearance a lot. Okay, what else? What else that you uh, write about this? Okay, everyone has different appearances. Okay, there are some fat people, there are some thin people. Okay, so everyone has different appearances. And should tell your friends about this. Okay, you must have self-confidence and people will like, will like you when you are confident. Okay, so you must have self-confidence. Okay, the main point is you must have self-confidence. Even if you are chubby, you are fat, whatever people call you, if you have self-confidence, so people will not say anything bad to you. Okay, finally, live healthily and love yourself. Okay, uh, wrong spelling. Leave a small letter. Okay, please do the correction here. Okay, live healthily and love yourself. Okay, live. Uh, L, small L, not uh, capital L. Okay, so that is your closing paragraph. Very short because this is just the conclusion. Okay. Yeah, I think I better change this to small letter. Okay. Ah, this is better. Live healthily, live healthily and love yourself. So this is your closing paragraph. Okay, so the last one will be the signing off. Okay, how do you sign off your letter? Okay. When you say hope my advice works. Okay, you don't have to use the word I hope my advice works. Okay, you just say hope my advice works. Uh, this is called imperative, okay? You don't have to use the the complete sentence, I hope my advice works, but it is not wrong, okay? So you can write, I hope my advice works, or you just say, hope my advice works. Okay, let me know how everything turns out. Okay, the writing in blue is actually, I think, from page 117. Okay, let me know how everything turns out. Okay, that's it. And then what else? Uh, best wishes or you just say good luck okay doesn't matter and final one okay you need to write your name or you just need to sign your name there okay your name your first name example like if you are danish equine so danish if you are muhammad Koet, you just say you just write Koet. if you if your name is brinda darshini so you just write there brinda okay your short name whatever uh your short name okay so do you get everything yes okay so i can stop sharing now it's very easy right i hope so mm. yes it is very easy so uh, it is just like a friendly letter uh, but uh, for this kind of letter because you are giving an advice to a random person Okay, from a magazine. So, you don't have to write your address there. Okay, it is different from your, uh, okay, from the, the normal format uh, of a letter, isn't it? Of an informal letter. Okay, so you don't have to write your, uh, your address there. You don't have to write the date. We just start with 